All right, guys, so in this video, we are gonna be unboxing the Ursa Mini Pro 12K. Now, first off, uh, big thanks to Lightform Film Note. Now, he's a uh, very long time BMC user, and he pretty much gave me a tip on Saturday that small stores are receiving the stock of their Black Magic Ursa Mini Pro 12K. So, what I ended up doing was canceling my original pre order because because for some reason that's taking longer than usual. I pre-ordered within like a day of announcing, getting the camera being announced. So I ended up canceling that. But when he told me Saturday the small stores are getting their stock, I called the store close by me and sure enough, they just had it in stock. So here it is today, the Ursa Mini Pro 12K. So with that being said, enough introduction. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Big baby. I mean, I gotta say, this is, I think, the biggest box I've ever seen a Blackmagic camera come in. So I'm gonna use my flat head screw here and just cut an incision in the side. Let's go ahead and see what's inside the box. This is a little bit different than what I'm used to. Where is the actual opening? Oh, okay. Just pops open like that, I guess. So here we are. So here it is, welcome note like usual. Now usually it comes with a little SD card, but I guess the manual is all online now, but that's okay. We got a nice sticker from Blackmagic Design. There you go. And of course, the Venture Resolve Studio 16, which I am gonna be selling because I already have a DaVinci Resolve from the original Blackmagic Cinema camera. Okay, let's go ahead and see the beast. Oh my goodness, here it is. Let me go ahead and move this out of the way and then we'll take a look at the rest of the, uh, what's in the box and stuff. So here it is, Ursa Mini Pro 12K. So aside for the Ursa version one, this is probably the second heaviest Blackmagic camera I have ever held in my hands. This thing has a pretty good weight to it, all right? That's really nice. Same form factor as the Ursa Mini Pro G1 and G2 from the looks of it. Comes with PL mount, but we are gonna be changing that here in a second. So, that being said, okay, so they still don't give you the little cap thing for the uh, V-mount connector right there. Thought some people complain about that, but that's okay. So guys, with that being said, let me know in the comments below on what you want tested with this camera. Additionally, let me know, I'm taking votes on which camera I should compare this camera to. The most votes in the comments below on which one I'm gonna be comparing this camera to first. All right, I got a couple of ideas, but I'm gonna let the majority of you guys decide on what do you wanna see against this camera. Now, just a disclaimer, this is my camera. Blackmagic did not send me this for free. So, like always, I don't have to say nice things about this camera. Oh, before I forget, it is an unboxing. So, uh, but yeah, I almost forgot it comes with power supply. Got too excited with the camera. I totally forgot about the power supply. Oh, there you go. There's a back plate that I was talking about. So it does come with a back plate for the V-mount in the back, so that's good. You can close it up. And then the power supply is right here. Takes a little bit, X, uh, looks like XLR. It's new tricks as well. That's awesome. I honestly don't remember other cameras coming with a brick like this, but you know, that works. And it also comes with these. Custom cables for the back of the camera. Never seen that before. That's cool. So I guess I just gotta find a plug because it doesn't come with one unless it's in the box, which let me take a look. Okay, so put this back here and I don't think there's anything else in the box. 
No, there's nothing else in the... All right, so there's nothing else in the box, guys. That's it. Let's go ahead and do some stuff with this camera.